That's right, form jacking can make you a victim on any website. That's right, even some of the most secure sites can be a risk. The worst part about this new scam is you don't even know you're a victim until it's too late. You could be shopping, filling out a job application, or a government form on what you think is a secure website. The attacker figures out how to put malicious code onto their website, and that malicious code will steal your information. You may not have suspected, but as you're entering sensitive information in an online form, a thief or hacker could actually be lifting it. It's called form jacking. Uh, form jacking is basically a digital version of a credit card scammer that criminals might attach to an ATM to uh, capture people's card information. According to a 2018 report by Symantec, form jacking increased almost 117% when comparing two different months. Form jacking can hit any website at all. Absolutely, it can hit any website that's out there. So. They have to be constantly vigilant about their application code. Andrew Hogue at Chicago's Now Secure says businesses and website owners can fight off form jacking with ongoing security, but that there is little you can do as a consumer. Your transaction goes through. You didn't realize anything was different, but behind the scenes, the attackers were able to get your private information. Part of the reason it's on the rise is because there's really no good defense because you can't tell if the website has been compromised. So how are hackers able to do any of this? Tech experts say form jackers are getting to your favorite mainstream websites through third parties. If you go to a website and there's a customer service chat bot, you click the button and you can do customer service. Most of the time, that's from a smaller company. So even an antivirus program may not catch this? An antivirus program may not catch this. They may catch a small percentage of them. You can get a credit card designated for only online purchases, which can help you streamline those transactions and keep a watchful eye on them. Check your credit card statements and your debit card statements each month. It's always helpful to monitor your credit score because if your social security number is stolen, uh, it's likely you'll see your credits uh, credit score drop as criminals use your information to create a multitude of new accounts. Now Secure says you can also ditch the desktop and instead enter personal information on secure mobile apps on secure Wi-Fi, then add a more modern form of payment. If you're using Apple Pay and Google Pay, it's probably the highest level of security. If you're using a standard app mobile application, you're still going to have a much higher level of security than if you're using just a website. Security experts say you can also now ask your credit and debit card companies to give you a special digital number to only use for online transactions. This way, if that information is stolen, you can keep your physical card okay. and your original number because we all know how hard it is right. and what a hassle it is when you have to cancel a credit card right. and you have all those reoccurring charges. Right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.